Hi all! In today's video, we'll go through another Rook and Knight mate, more popularly known as the Arabian mate. As you see here, the Rook and Knight work together to deliver the mate. The Rook gets protection from the Knight. And here the Black King is trapped in the corner. Notice that for this mate to work, the King either needs to be trapped in the corner or trapped by his own pieces blocking his way, as you'll see in the next few positions. Here the king isn't in the corner, but his pawns block the escape squares. Also white's pawn on g5 plays an important role of protecting the knight and also preventing the king from going to h6 and escaping via h6. So have a good look at this structure, since this is what we'll look for in the next few positions. What would you play here as white? There's a mate in two. So white can start with queen captures rook. And now the king can't capture because it's protected by the knight. So rook captures queen. After that we have rook to g8, which is mate. The mate isn't that apparent here. But if you look for the pattern that we just saw, you will be able to find the mate quite easily. First, white has to play rook e8. So after king f7, rook f8 and its mate. Note that white's f5 pawn plays an important role of guarding the e6 square. If this pawn hadn't been there, the king could have escaped via e6. Note that these fine details are quite important when playing a real game. Now since you've got the idea, Let's get into some more complicated positions. You can pause the video and see what to play in this position. It's white's turn. It is to be observed that black's bishop guards h7. So white simply removes the defender by capturing it. Queen captures bishop. Check. Black really has no reply here but to take. Otherwise queen h7 will be mate. So h7 captures queen. And now knight f6. Again, black has only one move, which drives it into the corner, king h8. After which we arrive at the same pattern, and it's checkmate. Check out this position. This time, it's black to play. White's king looks very weak. How can black take advantage of this? The most obvious move would be rook captures rook. But in this position that doesn't really help black much other than exchange pieces. Instead a better move would be rook f2. Check. And the king has only one square to go to which is h1. So after king h1 black follows up with rook h2. This deflects the king to h2 with the intention that after the king takes on h2 knight f3 checks the king. After this, king h1 is forced. And now rook captures rook, delivers the Arabian mate. I found this position quite interesting. It's white to play. It's just that you pause the video, take your time, and see if you can find the continuation for white. There's a forced mate in 3. You may have noticed the role of the knight in the Arabian mate is to protect the rook. With this idea in mind, you might find the queen sack useful. Queen captures rook is the best move here, since it forces a recapture and it also prepares rook e8. So after king captures queen, we have rook e8, and then king g7 and rook g8, delivering the final blow. Here again, it's white to play, but black, if you notice, has immense pressure on h2. So how can white nullify all these threats on h2? Sometimes a counterattack happens to be quite useful. White can start with queen c3. Check. Black can just take the queen here. Of course he can. But now, just as in the previous position, white has rook e8. Now it hardly matters as to where black decides to move his king. Mate follows. 
if king h7 then rook h8 is mate and if king f7 then rook f8 is mate thank you for watching the video that's all for today take care